breaking news guys as it going get offer yoruba nation agitators threaten war against president bola metinibu marking the over arrested activ activist hello guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for this coming out here if you are just joining us please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up the self-proclaimed interim government of yoruba nation has won that President Bola Tinubu and Oyo State Governor Sheyi Makinde will face the consequences of a coming war if they fail to release activists who were arrested for hosting Yoruba Nation flags at the Yoruba State Secretariat. In a viral video, the Deputy Coordinator of the Yoruba Nation Agitators, Victor Adewale, who claims to be the Deputy Interim interim president delivered the threat. Adewale, who is based in Sweden and serves as the European coordinator of the Odudowa Progressive Union, OPU, was installed as the Akebeyi Area Honor Kankafu of Yoruba land in 2020, in 2020 by Ghani Adams. Adewale stated, if Sheyi Makinde refused to release our men, that we are arrested and make them to sleep in the cell. He has called for war and Bola Tinubu will be greatly affected. The way we will re revenge you, you won't, you, you won't all understand. I am directed to warn you for the last time, Sheyi Makinde must release our warriors. He arrested at the Secretariat in Ibadan. He must release them immediately. He should return them to the secretariat, let them be doing their own day, and we should be doing ours. If he continues to hold them, whenever you you are Tunubu, you will be rooted out. Go and ask your fathers. Our proclamation letters are with them, Tunubu, uh, uh, Tunji, Dasu, Makinde, and all Omatiku in Yoruba land. And the police, you must release those guys immediately. War is coming, and I want to employ Yoruba people to go out in mass to protest. However, whether you like it or not, we have an interim government now for Yoruba nation. Well, um, it's now very glaring that these people, they are not, <laughs> they are not joking, no. Because according to Modukbe, according to um Ms. um modupe abiola who declared herself the yoruba uh the president of the democratic yoruba of uh, the president please pardon me the the president of democratic republic of yoruba nation he says army are ready so they did not just invade that secretariat they are all prepared ready to face the war for once now this man is now threatening president bola metinubu and the uh, oyo state government uh, led by uh, sheyi makinde that if they do not release those agitators that was arrested you know uh in the in the secretariat that nigeria will crumble he said mostly in the southwest that they will, will they will root president bola metinubu out <laughs> well this this threat is really very weighty you see what we've been saying when there is a problem on ground don't look at any issue as a light one always try to address issue yes even in our various homes you know say some wives or husband they go say they just get small argument. Ah, we don't they talk together again without visiting that matter. If it did that person mind, that is the reason why you see majority of uh, uh, people killing. You know, let me use this language because of community uh, guideline buying their spouse accumulated grievances. He did it. We never discuss this problem when they sense he did it. That is what is going on. Don't also forget that. There is still agitations in the southeast. You understand? 
agitations is currently still going on in the southeast these people said it's like um professor akintoe uh and the uh, sunday Ibu, who were really spearheading the yoruba nation agitations before now say be like say they don't bribe them ahead uh -huh. so as in they shift their body or their or their, their their legs they go back these people won't let them know say no yoruba nation no going back well like as i said one miss modupe abiola has declared herself the president of a new democratic republic of yoruba nation which she claimed seceded from nigeria miss abiola in the uh the treasonous move made this known via a video a uh, feed being shared by supporters of the alleged new nation she read out a speech to commiserate the occasion which took place on april 12th as she announced that the recognized nation had an army of its own record yoruba nation self-determination group led by historian professor banji akintoye and chief sunday Bowu, aka uh chief sunday adeyomo aka sunday Bowu, on Saturday, they condemned the Omonira Yoruba group led by Ms. Modupe Abiola, whose members and supporters allegedly invaded the Oyo state government has. Well, the attackers had later been detained though, with charms, guns, and ammunition. Nigerians, as you can see, this is really getting tougher. So what's your take on this? I beg, make me hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.